So guys, today I'm traveling to Famagusta, which is a ghost town. It's, it's completely deserted, no people live here. And it's been like this since 1974, when the Turkish army invaded half of Cyprus. And the people who lived in this city, in Famagusta, they got stuck basically on the front line, had to go south to avoid being killed, of course, in the conflict. But they were never able to come back to Famagusta. So, approximately 40, 45,000 people lived in the city. They had their car shop, their coffee shop, their everything, their whole lives here. And this was like the most important city in Cyprus at this time. The harbor down here. 90% of everything that was going in and out of Cyprus was from Famagusta. All the tourists were in Famagusta. Everything was in Famagusta. And now, nothing left. So the people, of course, this is an open wound for the Cypriots uh, who had their whole lives here. But now, since a year ago, it's possible to come back to Famagusta. Just visiting, walking along this road, there are Turkish police officers here, checking so nobody goes inside the houses. But for the first time since the conflict, and that's 49 years ago, it's possible to go inside and see how it looks like, at least along this road. So tag along to see the ghost town of Famagusta. city, Famagusta, the ghost town was then opened last year, you could say. Yeah, last year, yeah. I knew it was. Yeah. So, uh, Famagusta was the leading uh, tourist, tourist, center, destination, yes. tourist destination in Cyprus. Yes, yes. And then overnight, zero.
through the streets of Famagusta. As you can see, the streets are completely empty. Uh, there is a Turkish police officer behind me right there, sitting on the corner. And here you can see the remains, like here's the old Barclays Bank. And up here is the old Toyota building. And yeah, it's a spooky feeling being in here. So here I am walking the streets of Famagusta together with my excellent guide. Yes. And I asked him to try to explain uh, in 30 seconds, I think I said, <laughs> what Famagusta is and how it became the way it is. So let's give it a shot. Came the way it is because they try to win the tourists of Cyprus when they close the Famagusta, but nobody accept them like country. That way they leave the things a few years like how they are, and we see how it goes down now. Mm -hmm. All the buildings they are collapsing to fell down. But for me as a tourist, it's really sad to to walk here in the streets and see how people just had to leave. But for you as a Greek Cypriot, how would you say that this is an open wound, a bleeding wound for yeah, for think, Cyprus today? I think we are lucky we are here now because we don't know what they're gonna do tomorrow. Yeah, do you think they will close it again maybe? Maybe they yeah. put everything down. Yeah. They the yeah. Thank you for showing me all this. Yeah. <laughs> 